Okay, I'm going to show off uh, why Temple OS is better than Unix. So, uh, first of all, let's say i64. The, the command line feed the command line feeds into a C compiler line by line. Uh, it's, it's holy. It's holy C. Um, anyway, uh, so we can enter a function and it will compile incrementally for i equals 1, i less or equal to n. I'm going to... Okay. Now if it, it sends a string to standard out, if it's a... Uh, it's like a printf. Um, And we will return in. Now let's say count, count to ten. And this answer value is the result. So if I say five plus seven, we we'll get twelve. Okay, so it's a calc any 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 statement outside of a function executes immediately, and the function the function is. Uh, Stored in uh, well, this is this is the local symbol table. Um, anyway, so uh, we can unassemble the function, and it's 64-bit uh, assembly code. I did a compiler, assembler, unassembler, and it has a uh, source debugging. So uh, this uses local very local register variables, n and i. Um, this is 64-bit assembly, and you can see the string got got it called malloc to place the code, and then it uh, it put the uh, string data afterward. So it compiles function by function, and any statement outside a function executes immediately. So if it feeds into a C compi compiler, okay. So this is hello world, isn't that funny? So uh, we say pound include. I think we can just say test one. So we got hello. Now we can hit carriage return and include, and that does that. Now if we go in there and uh, what if we uh, if we do that? I'm gonna hit F5. That's like the IDE. Okay, so it did that. Um, so. Now we're going to look at ls. Linux people like uh, ls. We're going to make a, a function that uh, has a mask. I use 8-bit characters instead of 7-bit. That's pretty funny. If you if you want to see what uh, Control Alt A, you can use symbols like uh, the IBM characters theta and stuff as function as ver variable names. Anyway, so Files find is like find first, find next, except the way we operate is we do everything at once. We load whole files and we uh, we load the whole directory tree. So um, what this is going to do is uh, files find is going to get a, a list of a, a linked list of uh, we can look at the uh, the structure. So it has a full name. That's kind of a cool feature. Full path name. And then it has uh, it has the next in the chain, the parent, and then a subdirectory. So um, we're telling it to do recursion and to just return files. So if you get rid of directories, then you, if you get rid of directories, then uh, it's just a it's it's just a linked list. So uh, we're we're gonna hit character turn include. Then we can say ls, ls, uh, let's say, let's look for ls test. Okay, now it, it's, it's recursive. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, ls, how about slash star? Let's see what that does. Okay. That's pretty funny. That's my screenshots for my. Um, 
Anyway, so LS, now we, this is uh, everything under the current directory. Um, there's all my songs and stuff from my, this is my account directory. Anyway, so um, now we're going to look at, uh, you know, the Apple II had a command line HGR and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to uh, give that that level of simplicity. So there's, you can put, we're writing to the uh, persistent. I can put a circle on the screen with one line of code. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Let me see. So uh, now let's uh, edit uh, Olympics.cpp. If it ends in Z, if it ends in Z, it's stored, compressed. It's stored and uh, When it's loaded, it's uncompressed automatically if it ends in Z. So we're going to do uh, um, and. Uh, you can put graphics in source code. So we hit Control R, make sprite, and we'll do a width five, and we'll draw a circle. Now you can hit Control Alt Z to zoom the screen at any time, any place. And if you hit Control and then left grab, you can pan the screen at any time. So uh, now, now we're going to. Uh, come over here and uh, this is the vectors one two three four so uh, now we're going to come over here to the sprite edit shift points you know I think they should have uh, okay so now we're going to put colors in uh, colored Let's make that North America should be red, like uh, Native Americans. Uh, Europe should be blue. Just because I'm... Um, oops. I can edit, cut and paste, cut and paste over here. Um, blue. Where's the red? Anyway, um, I'm going to insert... Uh, Asia should be yellow. Oops. And, uh, uh, South America should be green. And Africa should be black. Australia just kind of got screwed. Anyway, uh, I didn't put them in the right order. Anyway, I'm not going to mess around with that. So um, now we can put graphics in source code. We can say Sprite, and it's going to send it to the command line. Um, Control R, pointer to Sprite number one, and uh, we'll put some character turns. So uh, now we include this. And we can say O L Y M P I C X Olympics. Okay, or we can put um, in here. We can say Olympics. We can do this a couple times. So um, anyway, now we can uh, we can do graffiti at the command line. Here, if you want, you can hit this terminal button. I killed it on purpose. Now we go. Now we go. Uh, Control R, make sprite. So um, you can put uh, in your source code. You can make uh, flow charts in your source code. You can put links in your source source code. I'm going to say color red with five poly point.
so it's kind of a layer on top uh, it's vector it doesn't have boundaries and you can you can use a clipboard and put it on a clipboard and go put it in your we can put this in here we can sh they have an origin but no boundary unless we convert them to bitmap so um, shift points you oops I didn't want to do that I want to shift origin so uh, anyway um, so I made a, a compiler assembler unassembler um, so I just want to show you one more thing um, here's a uh, no I want to show you a couple more things here's an eight core flight simulator um, seven core six core six core I'm using one core for the uh, frame grabber I think I don't know I, sometimes that gets messed up so um, let's see how about uh, I want to show one more thing uh, if I say control L and then I say text and then I say uh, define string <coughs> company okay so this is a text entry it's but it's dynamic if I say pound define oh I have a couple more things I want to show you guys pound define DD company Acme so that it's looking in the symbol table every time it updates the window and um, if we if we change this to Acme 2 now we can put this in our source code and uh, oh I didn't do the font demo anyway uh, so um, anyway you can you can make us eh, it's just kind of neat anyway um, here's a font demo so um, one of the things that distinguishes my inspiration was the Commodore 64 and uh, you could modify everything so uh, one of the things I remember was uh, class rep dynamic on the Commodore you had a lot of this is kind of like an IDE debugger um, the command line can have active uh, text this is kind of like what we saw earlier so here's the the task registers FS is the is the um, task task record anyway so uh, here's uh, here's the registers and uh, anyway uh, so you can modify the font here we're um, we're saving the, the the font is 64 bit 8 by 8 so it's uh, 64 bits we're putting a bit pattern and then we're exiting so we just changed you can see the system font everywhere got changed and the, the code is really nice it's just a get char so uh, anyway and it say put it back